the moment i tell the owners that if your dog is like this if he doesn't want to meet all dogs let him be there is no problem but at the same time if you push your dog to it nervousness may develop aggression may develop in that case separation anxiety may also develop doorbell rings and people come in he goes and hides under the sofa or he's coming and sitting with you these may be some signs of your dog being a little nervous now when i say nervousness i don't mean it's a problem it's a whole spectrum okay on one end of the spectrum i'm going to give you a case where a dog i was training a dog where she would come in she would see you and she would poop So that's a extreme sign of nervousness and maybe on the little starting of the spectrum is that the dog is okay with somebody coming in but he doesn't go instantly to sniff and he doesn't wag his tail he is a little wary little cautious and sits with the owner okay then i'm going to sit with you i'm fine with this gentleman or this lady coming in but i'm going to take my time and maybe after a while get up sniff and do this now i'm not saying there's a problem with this dog absolutely not but the owner can make it worse by forcing the dog to go meet let your dog be okay he may not be so what happens is many times we have expectations that i want a super friendly dog i want a dog who goes meets the guests and is super happy excited if that's your dog's temperament let him be that you will be able to prevent a lot of issues that may happen but if this same dog is pushed to do things that he doesn't want to which is as simple as that go go meet go say hello to people or other dogs you may start seeing this dog going into a shell because you are losing his confidence that he had in you that my owner understands me and as a owner you are doing it because you want to see your dog happy but that's your idea of happiness so see there is love the intent is right but the lack of awareness is is what's going to make things worse so the moment i tell the owners that if your dog is like this if he doesn't want to meet all dogs let him be there is no problem but at the same time if you push your dog to it nervousness may develop aggression may develop in that case separation anxiety may also develop so which will be a small part of the big picture But before that, we would like to introduce our Monku Dog app. It is a personal pet care assistant app that will assist you in taking better care of your pet and making pet parenting easier. So whatever I've told you right now are signs of little nervous dogs and I've just covered a few of them. Okay, some signs could be that some dogs frantically start sniffing in circles. Okay? When they see a new person, they look on the floor and not give you eye contact. so that's a sign of nervousness but having said that everything that i'm saying is in context every time if your dog and i'm just clarifying this one thing if your dog is going around in circles for a well balanced dog that is a, that could be a sign of peeing also wanting to pee but for a nervous dog you'll see this when you bring new things into the picture another sign of nervousness would be many people come in that when a bike or a car passes by in the house a dog gets alert So that's a dog a dog who's always on alert is slightly problematic i want a relaxed dog for his mental well being a dog who's scared of mixer sounds washing machine utensils cling clunking against each other things falling off the floor if a dog gets worked up by that then there are signs of nervousness one classic sign of nervousness is and most people will tell me that you know my dog is perfect is an absolute delight but sometimes when he's sleeping he's just snapped at me and i don't know it came out of nowhere so a dog when he's sleeping and you suddenly come out of nowhere any sudden movement any sudden noise that means his instinct he's always in self preservation mode so he loves you but he didn't realize because he was protecting himself and he snapped So I don't want anybody following these things in the house. So this is just for awareness, but all of these things fall under the criteria of seeking in professional help. 
this will help you these are some of the side symptoms that you are going to see along with separation anxiety which are there is far more deep rooted problem and you should not try and manage all this on your own that's that will be a good time to call in professional help because videos and knowledge can only videos and listening to things and reading can only take you so far take a little guidance do it your way but don't start off by just randomly reading things your dogs may need some things and the moment we start talking of behavior and nervousness it becomes very personality oriented so it will be very individualized approach as a, opposed to all the generic things that i'm giving you but i'm telling you all these things so that you can identify how to do this thank you for watching if you want to ask something about your pet you can tell us in the comment section below and if you like this video do subscribe our youtube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon for instant notification